We've all heard things that go bump in the night, but if you start seeing floating figures and can't afford a Ghostbuster, call on The Hub. We'll show you these 10 real-life haunted houses. As scary as your apparitions may get, the ghostly inhabitants of these creepy places are probably worse. And hey, if you're one of those people who ain't afraid of no ghosts, then click on the subscribe button. The Hub has way more scary stories where these came from. Montpelier Hill Irish leader William Connolly chose Montpelier Hill as the site of his hunting lodge in 1725. Upon breaking ground, builders discovered an old catacomb and, to save money, they constructed the home with stones from the ancient mausoleum. Connolly died shortly after its completion, and his family then lent the property to the Hellfire Club, a group of socialites who engaged in occult activities. During a tame night of poker, the club members welcomed a visiting stranger who, on his last hand, revealed his hooved devilish feet. He then disappeared in a blaze of smoke. Moon River Brewery Originally known as the City Hotel, Savannah, Georgia's Moon River Brewery is a bar where every ghost knows your name, but they usually aren't too friendly about it. An apparition named Toby is known to body slam patrons in the billiard room, and invisible hands will hurl bottles at whoever looks at them funny. As lively as the lower levels can be, the third floor has been left abandoned ever since the wife of a local foreman was thrown down the stairs by an unseen force. The Sultan's Palace New Orleans is a hub of paranormal activity, and the Sultan's Palace has a prominent place in its haunted history. Once an opulent mansion circa 1836, the owners fell into hard times and the self-titled Sultan was believed to be buried alive on the grounds. In the 1960s, the building was purchased by a Mr. Theomico, and it was his wife who first reported the dark shadow stalking over her bed as she tried to sleep. Later owners only reported that their keys would often go missing, which is preferable to having to deal with a demon face to face. The Piddick Mansion the Pittock family moved from Pennsylvania to Portland in the mid-1800s and made their fortune along the way. After a long life, they retired to their newly built mansion, but only enjoyed it for five years before their deaths. Many visitors have sensed the presence of the original owners, guiding guests to their destinations, moving pictures to different rooms, and appearing in the reflections of windows and paintings. Philanthropic in life, the Pittocks seem to be just about as friendly in death. Franklin Castle Hans Tiedemann was a successful banker from Germany who settled in Cleveland. The good fortune was short-lived, when his mother and four of his children passed away within three years. To cope with these untimely deaths, Tiedemann focused on making his home into a true castle, with turrets, statues, and secret tunnels. Future owners heard ominous organ music, a paranormal investigator had their tape recorder smashed, and upon discovering a hidden passage, one man found a pile of bones. The Whaley House Built where a public hanging had occurred just a few years earlier, the Whaley family moved into their new home in 1857. The executed convict's boots were heard throughout the house as the Whaleys experienced one tragedy after another. Their young son succumbed to scarlet fever, and their daughter took her life following a failed marriage. The ghost of Mr. Whaley often watches guests from the top of the staircase, and even the family dog can be felt running up to visitors. Queen Anne Hotel San Francisco's Queen Anne Hotel looks exactly like it did in the Victorian era, and that's how Miss Mary Lake likes it. Mary was a headmistress, and if you follow her rules, she'll make her presence known by freezing the area where you stand. Guests who fall asleep in a crumpled heap just might find themselves comfortably tucked in the next morning. For that hospitality, thank Miss Mary Lake on the fourth floor. The Crescher Mansion in the 1800s, the Kreischer family moved from Germany to Staten Island, New York, with a big brick business and bigger dreams. Within several years, Mr. Kreischer was dead, the business failed, and one of Kreischer's two heirs took his own life. The other sold the mansion. Disguised as a restaurant, the building later served as a mafia front. More recently, it was the site of a grisly crime, but the old family still haunts the grounds. If you look closely onto the windows, you may see the widow Kreischer watching the grounds. The Crescent Hotel Featured in a 2005 episode of Ghost Hunters, the tour was notable for capturing a creeping silhouette in a thermal image. Here, orbs are sighted in dark rooms, figures of nurses tend to invisible patients, and unexplained sounds hearken to when the hotel was a hospital. The spirit of one patient, known for her cleanliness, is known to pack guests' belongings when they're not looking. The St. Augustine Lighthouse while it's kept the coast safe for generations, the same can't be said for its inhabitants. In 1859, the lightkeeper was painting the lighthouse walls when he fell into his death. Fourteen years later, the next caretaker's children fell off a supply car and drowned. Current residents have seen disembodied hands close doors, move furniture, and grab unsuspecting guests. Creepier still, a man's presence has been seen near the top of the tower when no one was up there. Paranormal experts hope these apparitions can shine a light on what causes otherworldly occurrences. Congratulations! If you're still watching, that means you survived these 10 real haunted houses that exist. And if you're a ghost, then feel free to just move in. See you again soon at The Hub.